it went from there. And then all of a sudden, they uh, Cameron, I told Cameron I had a lead. Uh, some I heard on Daryl's desk, some uh, the track boys. And I was like, can I go see these dudes? They got this artist I want to go see. I go out there. Karen approved my travel. I went, I, that was my first flight as an AR. I'm still kind of interning. I don't have no money yet. Karen is the, talking about discussing, maybe giving me, uh, hit me with a little 50 piece a year. I was like, all right, I'll take it. <laughs> I was like, I'll quit Home Depot tomorrow. Yeah, so it's just like, uh, so I go to get to um, St. Louis, meet the track boys. They introduced me to Jay Kwan. Uh, he, he is super interesting character to me. I was like, man, I'm trying, I'm about to go back and tell him what I saw. I get back to Arista, I, I, you know, tell them about Jay Kwan. They set up a meeting. I get to bring him to um, New York. JD is in there and he performs in there, standing on L LA's chairs and stuff. I'm like, oh my God, these niggas gonna fire me. I'm like, I don't know you that good, nigga. So I'm fussing at these niggas on the way down the elevator. I'm like, you niggas get me fired. Niggas gonna be on there. You stand on that man desk, man. So he's like, <laughs> I get back up. LA's like, congratulations on your first signing. I was like, so I, when I first went in the office, though, everybody was looking at me crazy, like Mark looking at me, like everybody mean mugging me. Like I, it was a setup. I didn't know it was a setup. The first one, I walked back in there, they was looking at me like. So I was like, <laughs> all right, well, go ahead and give it to me easy. <laughs> it was like, and that's when L.A. was like, nigga, congratulations on your first sign. And, and the whole A&R staff just starts clap, clapping and applauding me. And I was just like, what? Y'all like that? They was like, we that nigga, that was tough. And then when after we got to work and I come back in the in the office with everybody in the club, get tipsy. And uh Monster. that's kind of like, it went from there. It's like now I started getting I started getting paid. I think I got my first my first um salary, I think I started getting like 125 a year. But I ain't never seen no money like that in my life. So Yo, they started you off nice. They started yeah, yeah. you, you know, off a good salary. salary. They, started, they started paying me. And I, I started, I got a real job. I got a real little job. I got a little travel thing. And I started, they started letting me travel. And then right when I got that, Arista fell down. It, Arista, they, it was, you know, it went down and LA had to go to Def Jam. And so I was like, it was, it was short lived. And then, uh, but LA helped me get a job, helped me get a meeting with all the different labels, the whole industry. And I was having meetings, but I got the job records. And that's where um, that's what me and Pitts end up going together. Pitts went on his own contract and I ended up being like, yo, it was just the stuff on the wall. I was I used to I used to judge labels by the plaques on their walls. Mm. So I would look up and it was like stuff I used to really look at. Like, you know, I'm looking, I'm seeing, I'm seeing Will Smith, I'm seeing Too Short, I'm seeing R, R. Kelly without the shenanigans. I'm seying, you know, it's like Britney Spears. I'm seeing all in sync. I was like, what the? I'm like, you know what? I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna work here. This it's like a it's like a vibe in here. I'm gonna, it's like an entrepreneur entrepreneurial spirit in here. So I told Barry Weiss, I just I want to be here. I want to be one of y'all, man. I want. I feel like this is my best opportunity to work with somebody like you, and I can become who I am. You know. And he was like, all right, all right. So they they offered me the most money. I think then I I I, I think I started that job at two fifty, and I ended up my I closed out up there. I was making five hundred thousand dollars a year. When I when I left um, T after T Pain, that's when I got T Pain. I brought my first artist at job for for that job was T Pain, and uh, after T Pain, I just yeah I was making like five hundred thousand a year plus my own label hits committee started, and I ended up doing the deal on BT because Stephen Hill wanted a piece too. Hold, hold on, before before we even go, because you go like I, I need to zone in on that. Like yo, yeah. that ain't, make it make coming from Memphis. Yes, but twenty nothing. years. Old, yeah. With no money, zero None. I came to New York with a thousand dollars. That's crazy. Sleeping on somebody's couch, yeah. getting kicked out, going to somebody else's couch in Kew Garden, Queens. Yes. Taking an internship, working for close to two years with no money. I ate cheese slices every day. It was like a, it was just my food. And that's why I started this off by saying you, you, you definitely have lived the American dream. This this is what it's about. But yes, I, what I don't want to get lost in this conversation is the work. I don't yeah. want to get lost in this conversation as you believed in you when, when people was telling you, yo, quit. Like, exactly. what are you doing working for free? And there's a bunch of other rich people right there next to you. Exactly. They, and I'm surrounded by, by, by dope boys. And they're telling me you're tripping. You could make this money right here. You got the swag. Let's do this. And I was like, nah, bro, this ain't what I came for, bro. I could did I could have did this in Memphis. I ain't selling dope for that's not what I came here for, you know. 
Nah, like, like th th that story is so dope, man, and it's so inspirational, and it's what a lot of people need to hear because before, before you get the notoriety, before you get the celebrity, before you get the the, the money in the bank, yeah. it's the work that nobody else sees. It's that exactly. work you do in the dark, man. So congratulations on that. Thanks, bro. But, Thanks, bro. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.